Your daughter's 12 and 6. Yes. Uh, Alice is the 12 year old. Yes. And uh, does she getting a comedy education uh, living uh, with two very funny parents? <laughs> she is. I think she know. Um, it's funny because at 12, they used to be such, they used to be the, my only source of stories for programs like this, but now I can't do it anymore because they catch me. I oh, they I don't. Too much. Like yeah. Alice came home one day and was like, hey, um, a friend of mine's sister showed me like a U long YouTube video of you telling stories about me on different talk shows. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag fake news. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's cool. You'll see like, you know, Ash, like when he gets bigger, you get so excited that you get really like, I'm gonna, just, they're bigger. I'm gonna show you back to the future. Like yeah. You get to show them movies and, and stuff that you love. And, and she's, you know, getting a really great comedy education on her own. She, over one summer, she binge watched all of the Andy Griffith show wow. twice. That's a real deep cut. That's a deep cut. All of the Dick Van Dyke show. I mean, these are fundamental I mean, principles. just to go, for a kid in today's age to yes. say, I will watch black and white comedy. Yes, black and white, gentle black and white comedy. Gentle black and white yeah, comedy, yeah. She watched uh, all of the American Office this summer. Great. And I was like, That's, that was one of those seasons where like, 26 episodes. Was, yeah. She watched it in like a week. <laughs> and she came to me and she's like, what should I watch now? And I was like, well, you're 12 now. Um, a lot of people like 30 Rock. Uh, so. so she went to watch 30 Rock and she watched a couple and she came back out to me and she was like, um, it's too weird for me. And I was like, oh, is it make you feel weird? Cause like mommy had to you know, like pretend to be in love with somebody who wasn't daddy. And she was just like, no, it's just too weird for me. And I was like, oh, I think you mean like tonally. It's like a little too bent, right? And so I was like, okay. I just had to take that hit. Like that was a hard, Motherly hit yeah. to take. And she's like, so what should I watch? And I was like, well, you know, what about Parks and Recreation? You might really like that. And she's like, oh, I watched all of it already. <laughs> and then I, it was so hard for me not to be like, get in your room and watch 30 Rock. <laughs> I was like, I was going to spank her. I felt like that woman in Big Little Lies when she found out that like Zoe Kravitz gave her kid the, the pill, birth control. And I was like, you come to me for that. <laughs> You don't go to Aunt Amy and Mike Sure. <laughs> I just like my ensemble comedy from Aunt Amy. I like a gentle Mike Sure sensibility. <laughs> 30 Rock is overstuffed. Okay, fine. Did you, have they seen uh, uh, previews of the early work of uh, Amigos? Yeah, they've uh, been coming to rehearsals every now and then for the musical. Great. And it's, that is exciting because that's the first thing that Jeff and I have done that they are truly excited about. That's great. And uh, the, the little one came and watched, you know, uh, a full run through uh, last spring. And um, at six years old, at five then, just all the wrong takeaways. She was just like, let's, she was going back to her preschool being like, let's play Mean Girls. <laughs> I'm Regina, I yell at you. Like, it was just like, it's like, I'm a sassy teenager. I was like, no, you're gonna, it's a very positive at its core. It's a very positive message. <laughs> nope, I get it. <laughs> Uh, well, this is, I think of the takeaways, be very careful about the work you create over the years because yes. your children will one day take the wrong messages from it. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I will do the same. Thank you so much for being here. Congrats. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see it. <laughs>